Well, we're going to get this thing assembled. We'll give it a shot. We got the power supply on. Little green lights on. I got to turn the motor controller on. That's the the one index. Now I gotta switch the motor wires. Okay, we put the wires from the back motor, and now we're using the top motor. And what I did was I I removed the wires from the top of this unit, this white thing, and I just soldered them onto the bottom. Now those color codes aren't correct. Those are uh, these little extension wires. I cut off the end and I soldered them. And then I plugged the other end into the motor. Now the plug on the motor made a good connection I was getting a little skipping before and even though those wires had heat shrink on them I still don't think they were tight enough so this way I put a solid connection in there and hopefully it'll work a lot better. So it rotates. Of course, I'm I'm not going to use the hand wheel for the top. I'm going to use the uh, stepper motor program to index it. So when it rotates down, I gotta put my little pieces on here so it doesn't fall off.
I made these little blocks to hold it down because it will come off. So I can use the hand wheel to rotate this down to the different positions. Then I'll use the uh, program to index it. But I'm just using the hand wheel now because I have it here. I don't have the, the program installed. And I don't have the microcontroller installed. All I have is the hand wheel. Well, that looks pretty good. So, like I said, the hand wheel is going to go on this axis here. That's the one I showed you earlier. But I just wanted to try this one out. To see how it worked out. It's working pretty good. Of course this is uh, rough, you know, I, everything's still got to be fine-tuned. But I added these uh, These little weights right here. There's one on this side. There's one right here. These little lead weights. What they do is they uh, counterbalance the weight of this motor. When this is a uh, the motor is detached and it's just going on these axles. The weight of this motor tips this a little bit to the back. So I added those counterbalance weight on there to uh, make it level. Just a little something I did. I didn't, you probably didn't have to do it, but I did it anyway. But, uh, looks like we're doing pretty good here. So we'll keep plugging along. These are those straps I was talking about before. That's what makes this unit go back and forth. The motor rides against this belt. And the belt stationary, and this unit, this unit is what rotates. Well, that's looking pretty good. Real happy about that. Okay.